Lay out components to ensure all items are in the kit. Certain components are marked with a coloured sticker to differentiate one from another. Lay out the bottom channels. Fasten the short bottom channels to the long bottom channels using two plain wafer head self-drilling screws in each corner. Continue fastening the short bottom channels to the long bottom channels. Align an anchor plate with the two holes on a bottom channel as shown. Fasten two plain wafer head self-drilling screws through the bottom channels and into each anchor plate. Continue fastening anchor plates to bottom channels. Check the walls are square by measuring the distance from corner to corner. The diagonal measurements should be equal for the walls to be square. Fit a short panel to the front long bottom channel as shown. Fasten the short panel to the long bottom channel with four white wafer head self-drilling screws. Fit a short panel to the left side short bottom channel by installing at front of shed frame, then sliding into place. Fasten the short panel to the short bottom channel with six white wafer head self-drilling screws. Fit a short panel to the right side short bottom channel by installing at front end of shed, then sliding into place. Fasten with four white wafer head self-drilling screws. Fit a long panel to the rear long bottom channel by installing at an angle. Fasten the long panel to the long bottom channel with 10 white wafer head self-drilling screws. Fasten one white sheet metal screw through the top corner of each panel overlap. Before installing the doorstop, remember to remove the plastic protecting it. Fit the doorstop over the front short panel. The doorstop tab fits into the slot in the long bottom channel. Fasten the doorstop to the long bottom channel using two coloured hex head self-drilling screws. Fit the door jam over the right side short panel. Place packaging material under the end of the door to support it in the open position. Fasten the door jam to the bottom channels using two coloured hex head self-drilling screws. Fasten coloured sheet metal screws through the door jam and doorstop and into the short panels from inside the shed. Continue fitting the second layer of panels, following the steps from the first layer of panels. For the second layer, use white sheet metal screws to fasten the panels together. Fasten a coloured sheet metal screw through the front short panel and into the doorstop. Continue fitting the second layer of panels using white sheet metal screws to fasten panels in place.
fasten a coloured sheet metal screw through the side short panel and into the door jamb. Continue fitting the second layer of panels using white sheet metal screws to fasten panels in place. Fasten one white sheet metal screw through the top corner of each panel overlap. Replicate steps to continue fitting the third layer of panels. Continue fitting the fourth panel layer until fitting the long panel. Fit the long panel on the fourth layer. The wall brace is installed along the long panel lap between the third and fourth panel layer. Fit the wall brace under the panel lap as shown. Fasten through the panels and into the wall brace with six white sheet metal screws. Continue to fasten panels together with white sheet metal screws. Continue fitting the fifth layer of panels. Fit the sixth layer short panel at the front of the shed. On the left side of the shed, fit the left barge panel as shown. Fasten the left barge panel to the shed. Repeat on right side of shed with the right barge panel. Fit the final long panel to the shed. The lower roof flashing will fit over the tabs on the doorstop and door jam. Fit the lower roof flashing to the doorstop and door jam. Align the forwardmost holes on the lower roof flashing with the forwardmost holes on the barge panel as shown. Fasten two coloured sheet metal screws through the barge panels and into the lower roof flashing. From inside the shed, align the lower roof flashing holes with the top of the short panel holes. Fasten three white sheet metal screws through the front short panel and up in the lower roof flashing. Lay out the gutter. Apply silicon to the underside of the downpipe outlet. Fit the downpipe outlet into the downpipe opening in the gutter. Mm -hmm. 
rivet the downpipe outlet in place using four rivets. Apply silicon to the inside gaps of both gutter ends. Fit the gutter over the rear long panel. Ensure the gutter fits under the barge panels. Fasten one coloured sheet metal screw through the barge panel and into the gutter at both ends. Fasten six white sheet metal screws through the gutter and into the rear panel. Bend the downpipe strap at the indents. Remove the plastic covering. Position the downpipe strap against the panel lap. Fasten the downpipe strap to the rear long panel using two coloured hex head self-drilling screws with washers. Fit the downpipe over the downpipe outlet and hard against the underside of the gutter. Fasten the downpipe to the downpipe strap using two coloured hex head self-drilling screws. Drill two 3.5mm diameter holes, approximately 10mm from the gutter, through the downpipe and into the downpipe outlet. Rivet the downpipe to the downpipe outlet using two coloured rivets. Ensure the roof sheets fit under the barge panels. Ensure the correct sheet lapping for the roof sheets. Ensure the ends of the roof sheets are in line with the lower roof flashings. Fasten coloured hex head self-drilling screws with washers through every second roof sheet pan into the lower roof flashing and gutter. Fit the upper roof flashing over the roof sheet and lower roof flashing. Fasten two coloured sheet metal screws through the upper roof flashing and into the lower roof flashing at both ends. Fasten coloured hex head self-drilling screws with washers through the top of the barge panel at all four corners and middle pilot holes. Fasten a coloured hex head self-drilling screw with washer through the door stop and into the short panel.
fasten the door handle to the handle mount with two 22mm wafer head self-drilling screws. Slide the door handle tongue all the way up the door handle shaft, ensuring the door tongue is oriented perpendicular to the handle. Tighten the door tongue screw on the door handle shaft to secure the door tongue in place. Slide the locking washer all the way up the door handle shaft to secure. Place the cover caps into the door handle holes. Move the handy pod garden shed into its final position. Check the walls are square by measuring the distance from corner to corner. The diagonal measurements should be equal for the walls to be square. Using the holes in the anchor plates as a guide, drill a hole into the concrete slab through all six anchor plates using a 10mm masonry drill bit. Fix all six anchor brackets to the concrete slab using six M8 47mm masonry anchors. The handy pod garden shed can be maintained by cleaning with clean water and a cloth. <laughs>